Alright guys, uh, my last video, um, uh, Central Phoenix Gets Lumber and Gas Part 3, I gave you kind of an overlook of the ethanol plant. Anyhow, since then, uh, I've made a roof and uh, cut out the windows and doors. Um, here's the windows I'm going to be using. They uh, still need to be painted. Uh, I'm kind of stuck for a color on this, on this structure here. So if you guys have any input, uh, so let me know. Anyhow, on the side of this building, there's supposed to be a little shed right here that will contain these tanks. So I start to build it um, just using a piece of styrene. Uh, I think it's like 30 or 40 thousand thick, and then I gave it kind of like a uh, concrete base right here. This is what I see in the pictures, and this will fit up against here like this. And then I also did the uh, steel structure and that'll go here like this and then there'll be another one in the back like this and this will be a separate piece uh, just in case I want to do some work on it I'll be able to just lift the whole thing out and do what I need to do anyhow uh, I also found some uh, <laughs> some old piping I think this is from like the uh, North Island refinery kit anyhow that's going to be installed in there also Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go a little further on this here, and uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the next step in my uh, project here for this little shed outside the uh, uh, energy center. Um, as you can see, I've got the uh, steel structure up, and also I installed some pipes. Now, the pipes I used in here, um, this one, like I told you earlier, was from... Uh, uh, I believe it was the Walther's North Island Refinery, and this one here is uh, um, just something that I made up, and these valves right here are from Plastruct. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and mount the tanks, um, and also, I did do the roof, and I used that sticky uh, uh, siding stuff that I told you guys about a while ago. Anyhow, this will get painted uh, whatever color the roof is going to be for the rest of the... the uh, uh, structures it'll get painted the same color anyhow um, I got these little cross beams right here and they will go at the ends and I also have one that'll go across the middle and that'll keep the top of the building pretty square and uh, so stay tuned and we'll be back for the next part of this uh, little uh, uh, build that I have going on here Right All right, guys, before I show you the uh, tank shed uh, completed, I'm going to show you a little how-to on here. Uh, if you guys need some piping um, that you can't find or if you need a specific size or something like that, I'm going to show you how to bend uh, tubing. Not tubing, but rods. It has to be rods. If you use tubing, it won't work. Anyhow, uh, trust the big lighter and just kind of throw some heat on the bottom of it like this. And then all you got to do is just tweak it down like that, hold it for a second, and uh, it'll set up, it'll cool down and set up in that position. And there you go, there's a 90 degree pipe bend. Anyhow, I'll be using some of this when I uh, do the other end of the uh, energy center, uh, because you know there's a, a building that goes right here, which by the way I do have finished. Anyhow, um, <clears throat> let me show you the uh, tank assembly here and as you can see I have the roof on it and let me scoot this around a bit and uh, 
I'm not going to permanently attach the roof because I think I'm going to leave it off so you can see everything that's inside. Anyhow, uh, let me show you what it looks like in there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but um, you got the piping in there, and like I told you about that little valve, um, all my structure is done. Um, put a little detail here on the side, and this puppy is pretty heavy. But anyhow, um, it'll sit on this side of the building, just like that, and uh, that's about it. Anyhow, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, how-to and uh, update on my uh, ethanol plant. But, All right, uh, guys, now, I thought I'd give you an overall, overall look of what the, uh, the uh, newly built tanks look like with the building in place. Of course, I still need to do the windows and doors. But like I said, I have the little connector building in here, and I am assuming that whatever fertilized... Uh, stuff is in these tanks will be piped into here and then into the uh, processing center i could be wrong but uh, who knows anyhow just thought i'd give you an overview of what it looks like because i did mention that i did have this building finished in here um, and, and like i showed you with that pipe uh, bending deal i'm gonna have, oops <laughs> clumsy anyhow i'll have pipes coming from here into here so it'll be like a 90 degree probably two of them or so but anyhow All right, guys uh, what you're looking at here is my fermentation tanks and if you remember in my last video I showed you how the uh, energy center would be sitting here and the processing building would be here and there was a connector building in here well I decided to eliminate the uh, connector building and actually add some piping in there so um, what I'm doing here as you can see right down here is I uh, did my burn and bend method for the uh, piping and uh, I got these little uh, stanchions that they're going to sit on and I will be adding this uh, base um, maybe not the whole thing maybe just part of it but because I want to do this I'm also going to add the piping that goes into the top I'm just trying to get some sort of a flow going on here so uh, it'll come from this storage shed over here way over here and it come into the energy center and then from the energy center it will go into the fermentation tanks and it, uh, when it's needed in the processing building they'll come out of this piping and go into the processing plant anyhow uh, let me get a little further along here and we'll continue on with this part of the build so stay tuned and we'll be back shortly alright guys I'm just going to show you how far I got along so far um, I ran out of the piping but uh, as you can see this end here will come out of the uh, energy center and it will go into the fermentation tanks and then as needed it'll come out here and go into the processing plant um, I'm not going to show you the rest of this because I don't have the material to do it I need to run out to the hobby shop again and uh, get some more of this piping but anyhow I just want to show you guys what's going on with this and I guess the next time I'll show you this will be actually um, when it's on the layout along with all the rest of the structures anyhow uh, hope you enjoyed this oh one other thing I wanted to tell you guys on my bend and burn um, deal or burn and bend deal you can't do it twice see what happens right here and then also it starts to crack so you can only do this bend uh, burn and bend only one time um, and hope you get it right I don't measure anything per se I just kind of eyeball everything but anyhow I tried doing this one and I I didn't measure it correctly so um, I tried to rebend it and it doesn't work and I knew it wasn't going to happen because I tried this at other times on some of my other stuff anyhow just a little bit of information and as you can see it's all cattywampus right here and so anyhow uh, just keep that in mind if you use that technique anyhow uh, I think that will be all for this part of the video. Thanks for watching and again uh, your comments, questions, input and subs are always welcome. For now BNSF 6951 out.